computer, I'm losing my mind. This video is gonna help you. Let's get to our drives. If I click the little folder button at the bottom and go to this PC, you can see that I have um, quite a few drive locations. Now these are just little places on your computer. Um, I've got videos and music and all that sort of thing. These are the main folders that Windows gives me, but over here I also have my favorites. Um, these are places that I like to go a lot. Uh, I'm going to right click and I can remove things if I don't want them there, but I can also go and I'm going to put junk drawer on there and I just drag it over and I can add more to my favorites. Now you want to look and make sure that you are what we call efficient, that you know how to find things on your computer. Now there are two ways to look at my PC. I can hit the little um, arrow there and show everything on the PC or I can just click on this PC and see it on the right hand side. Now the folders are just the ones Windows sets up for me. I really like to use favorites on the left instead. These are devices and drives, places I can save things. Now it starts lettering the drives, typically from C. Some computers you're going to see are going to have a C and a D drive, but it kind of starts at C, and this is our main drive of the computer. Now I can look at this and see that I have 180 gig gigabytes free of 465. That's the size of my drive. Now I've got two drives here, and they each have a drive letter. If I add, um, if I plug in a jump drive, it'll just be lettered F. Now, here at the bottom, this is what's real important. These are your network locations. Um, when you have a network location like we do here at Westwood, um, when I click on my U drive, everything I save here will appear on every computer I log into on campus. So for students who are moving files from place to place who have a network drive, it's a great place to put it. It's also a fantastic place to put your backup. This local computer is not backed up, but once it's put on the server, the server is backed up on a daily basis. So you really are not going to be able to lose anything that's put there. So you can put a copy there as well. And this is your, um, your computer and what we call your drives. I'm going to teach you a simple way to um, organize your files. Now I'm going in documents and I'm just going to right click and make a new folder here that I'm going to pretend like is your your documents. So I'm going to call this pretend. You'll probably be in my documents and then I'm going to show you in just a moment where I put my files. Um, I learned this from Gina Trapani who used to be at Lifehacker. It just works so well. So I always make a folder and I call it active. I'll put the at sign at the beginning because when you sort it alphabetically, the at sign actually even comes ahead of the A. Um, so I have active, I have archive, and then I have a folder that I'm going to call junk drawer. Okay, you can make other folders and organize other things, but this is typically perfect for most students. So what you do with active is anything you're working on right now goes in the active folder. When you're done with it, you're going to drag it or you're going to copy and paste it into the archive folder. Now anything you're just using today that you probably will never use again, you throw it in the junk drawer and then you just delete those um, when you get a chance. Now um, I have Dropbox kind of organized this way and you can see that I've got some ats and these are real important things to me and some other things that I number. I also a lot of times will give a number to folders and kind of organize it that way as well. But you see I really like to use the at sign to put anything important up at the top for me. Now one of the things I love the most is this folder called junk drawer. Now my junk drawer is actually all of my downloads from Google Chrome. So what I did in Google Chrome, let me resize this page, what I did in Google Chrome is I went to the three lines here and I went to my settings and told it that I want to download my files into um, into the um, junk drawer. So I believe it's down here in advanced settings 
and I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom right here where it says downloads so I changed it from the downloads folder to junk drawer now the advantage I have is because I sync to Dropbox it'll go onto all of my computers so sometimes when I'm working on a project I'll download things from the internet and use it on all of my computers um, so I have it syncing and going there but the nice thing about junk drawer is if I need a need space real quickly I just can delete everything in there I never leave anything important in junk drawer only things that I don't need and you just kind of consistently move stuff out of that folder and it really helps you so using a junk drawer will save you a lot of time um, if you'll use it now one struggle with file management is a lot of people don't know how to move their files around and it's really pretty simple you right click when you're in Windows and then you'll have a little box come up and it gives you lots of choices. Now cut will actually cut it out of that place and move it, but I never like to use that because if I get interrupted and forget what I'm doing, I can actually lose a file that way. So I'm actually going to copy this and then I'm going to go and move this where I put my thumbnails um, in my projects folder. I'm just going to right click and paste it here so now I've moved it now a lot of people don't and I actually put it in that folder a lot of people don't know that you can just go back like I did here and now I can say okay I'm going to delete this folder and now it's gone so copying and pasting move fi moving files around it's really pretty simple and if you want any of those folders like active or archive over here you just drag them right over here into your library hope this helps you So we've learned five things that you'll want to review. First of all, how to look at our drives on the PC. Remember, you just click the little folder at the bottom. How to find our network drives and how that helps us move things around campus. Some advice on organizing files. Do come up with a system and follow it. It's going to help you know where things are. How to add a file to your library or favorites to make it easier to get there and how to move or copy files from one place to another. But remember this, um, you can search and find a lot of things in, in um, Windows, and that's great, but nothing can replace the time saving of thinking about where do I want to put this, where does it need to go, and if I don't need it anymore, just to go ahead and delete it.